Good morning, friends and family. Welcome to Tuesday, May the 12th, 2020 class. Um, I don't really have any announcements for you all today, except um, participate. <laughs> That's about all I can say because I'm not getting any participation. Zero. I might be getting one or two, but it's the same ones. Some of you all I haven't even spoken to or anything or um, put you down for participation since this started. It's kind of sad. I mean, you know, I take a lot of time to get the materials together, to send them out to you, to make the videos. It takes a lot of other resource teachers to get things together for me as a teacher to give to you as a parent slash teacher. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. Either you can do it or you don't, you know, but if you don't and I don't see or hear from you, you're not getting participation. So, you know, that's that's all I can say about that. I can't force you to do it. All I can do is just tell you and I've asked you and asked you and asked you and it's not doing any good. So we've only got two more weeks of school left and then we'll be done in summer and then we can concentrate on next year. So let's get through the rest of these um, videos and hopefully you all will watch them if not you know i guess that's okay and i'll have to live with it but hopefully you'll watch it let's get started Let me turn that around i am on my phone again because i still can't get my computer my computer working so that's why i'm you're going to see me moving around because of my phone so i'll get started this is week two of moving on because we're moving on to kindergarten and we're trying new things. You can try new things. You could try new food, new drinks, new play, new toys, try participating. That's a that's a uh, option right there. But I'm just joking, but seriously, um, I do need you all to watch my videos. Um, get them to sit down just, they're never too long. The, I think the most I've had is maybe a 20 minute and that's what they sit in the classroom for 20 minutes. So, you know, it's nothing no different than being in the classroom. I'm not adding anything. And a lot of them is only like maybe 12, 13 minutes. So, uh, you know, I did post an activity with some toilet paper rolls. Because I know we all got toilet paper rolls, hopefully. Um, and I will show you, like I said in the posting, um, the activity that we're going to do. Instead of reading a book, we're going to do an activity. So let's get started, okay? Okay, boys and girls, it's time to sit, be quiet, and listen. Read with me, okay? Today is Tuesday, May. 12, 20, 20. Okay, parents, here is kindergarten skill. We start reading and writing left to right. Well, I put a star there. You can do that in their journal to get them used to going from left to right, but we've done it from day one in the class, and we've done it every day that we did a video um, here on our NTI. Okay. Good morning friends today we are going to work on our scissor Y'all hear Toby? I don't know what he's barking at. Maybe the mailman. We will stop, Toby. Have fun. And Toby. And I'm sorry about that. Sorry. Learn. Vincent, 
Miss Patricia. And Miss who? Frida. Good job. Over here. My big heart. Um, and I'm going to put a so-so face. And I'm putting a so-so face because I'm not happy, but I'm not sad. I'm not happy because I'm not getting responses from my parents. So that only makes me believe that most of you all are not even working. So that kind of makes me sad. But I'm kind of happy for the three or four that is actually doing it. Um, like I always say, just have to do one activity and let me know. You could just post them done or, or whatever. So I'm, I'm kind of so-so. And my heart's still sad because of Amina and her family. So please keep them in your prayers. Okay, draw my body, my arms, crazy hair. Okie dokie. Let's see what today is. Can y'all see it? Let me scoot a little closer. So see, we may not be able to do everything, but we just make it work. Do the best we can. Like I said yesterday, all you can do is try and do the best you can. And if my computers don't work, bring out my phone and go from there. So let's see what today is. Say the days of the week with me. Sunday. Monday, what's the day? Second day of school is Tuesday. And what color is our Tuesday? Yeah, yeah, yellow. Yeah, yeah, yellow. Good job. Okay. Toby's going crazy. Oh, so is my phone. He's on it. Hold on, I'm sorry. About that, friends. Oh, what have I done? Okay, I don't know what I've done. Oh, there we go. Maybe we're back to normal. Okay, remember, we're trying new things. So you never know if you like something unless you try it. So our word is try. She's trying to catch a ball. She may not be able to, but as long as she tries, that's all that matters. Because you keep trying and keep working, then you'll be able to get it. Practice makes perfect. Encourage, that's our big word. That's where your friends and teachers and parents, they encourage you to do stuff. Uh, something. So if you don't know how to catch that ball, we'll say, come on now. You can do it. Just hold your hands out and try. So I'm encouraging that little girl to catch the ball. This daddy is encouraging his son to ride the bike. He said, come on, son, you can do it. Just put one foot, push one down and push the other. Okay. Encourage. We always want to encourage friends instead of putting them down. And if they can't do it, that's okay. If they try, that's okay. And we always remember, we always challenge you so you can get as good as you can get. Because if we make things easy for you, you won't know if you can do something or not if something harder comes along. So this little girl... They're challenging, challenging her to hit that ball. So I'm challenging you to do your work. Okay? What's our shape? A heart. Good. Sing my song. A heart means I love you. A heart means I love you. Hugs and kisses everyone. A heart means I love you. What color? Orange. Orange. Okay, last week our, we had 25 cupcakes. This week we've got, what? 26 olives. What two numbers makes 26? 
a two, and a six. Let's count our olives. I need y'all count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, and right, twenty-six. Good job. Remember, parents, I told you yesterday, um, kindergarten skills, you need to count, they need to count up to at least 30. If they can go beyond that, that's wonderful. But if not, they need to work on counting to at least 30. Last week, our letter was X. This week, it is, what is it? Good job, Y. What sound does a Y make? Yeah, yeah, yo, yo. Yeah, yeah, yarn. What color? Yeah, yeah, yalla. What's um? What's the opposite of no? If I don't tell you no, I tell you yeah, yeah, yes. Good job. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is this is where I usually read a book. Here's Toby. Y'all want to see Toby? There's Toby. He came to school to learn, too. And he's going all crazy today. Okay, so let's go over the materials you need. Okay? I've got two different paper, or, um, toilet paper rolls. You can use toilet paper rolls, or you can use paper towel rolls. You only, only need one, but I'm going to show you, parents, two different ways you can do it, so I'm going to use two. But you only need one. Okay, we've got our toilet paper rolls, our paper towel rolls, our crayons. You, I know you got crayons in your backpack. You can use crayons or you can use markers, whichever one you like. And you need to use your scissors. I don't have little scissors like you all do and then you will guide them in your backpack. I have to use my big scissors. Do we cut our hair? No. Do we cut our sister's or brother's hair? No. The only time you use scissors is if there's an adult around. You don't play with scissors, they're very dangerous, but you, it is a skill that you need to know and learn. You do not cut nothing but paper. Do you cut books? It's paper but you don't cut books. Okay. So, parents, one way that you can do this, you're going to get you're going to you're going to make hair and then you can trim it. And that gives you the scissor skills. Okay? Parents, you can take and you can draw lines on here. This one's kind of bent together. See, I'm drawing lines. They don't have to be perfect because whatever line you draw, that's what they're going to have to trace. So, if it's crooked, they're going to have to cut crooked. If it's straight, you're going to have to cut straight. Okay? So, that's going to be his hair. Okay. Friends, you can draw a face, get your crayons, and you can draw a face on them. You can give him eyes. What color is my eyes? Green. Good job. I'm going to give him a green nose, too. Got to have a nose. So you got how many eyes? One, two. One, two. How many noses? One. Go. Let me boop your nose. Boop. <laughs> Good job. And you can, whatever way you're feeling today, you can make that mouth. If you're happy, you make a happy face. If you're sad, you make a sad face. Remember up here, I said I had a so-so face. Because I'm not happy, but I'm not sad. I'm just kind of, uh. So I'm going to draw a so-so face. See, it's a little happy so that's, that's my face. If you want to draw some ears, you can draw some ears. 
You can, you don't even have to draw, you know, you can just draw whatever you want. If you want to make an alien with three eyes, you can do that. It's your artwork. You can do whatever you want to do with your own art. That's why you're the artist. If, if you want, you don't even have to draw a face. If you just want to draw shapes on it, you can. And just use it, the top where it's supposed to be hair. You could just use that as cutting scissors or cutting skills. So what you're going to do is, see how I drew the lines? Okay, you're going to get your scissors and very carefully you're going to cut the lines. And this is an activity that Miss Frida found for us. She found it last week. And to be honest, Miss Vincent forgot about it. But I found it. And it's go. Oh, there's a crooked line. Now you gotta make sure that you're e going soft, or not soft, but easy. You don't want to cut your fingers. Okay, see? There's his hair. See? His hair looks like my hair, don't it? Oh, crazy. So, what you can do, you can leave him like that because you followed the lines that your, your mom or dad or somebody, an adult, made for you. So, you can leave him like that. Or if you want to give him a haircut, you can cut him. This makes a mess, but you're still getting your scissors. Now, parents, you got to make sure that they're holding their scissors correctly. The little hoe, of course you know, but I'm letting the, the children know, is for your thumb. The big hoe, you may be getting, be able to get two fingers in, but mine is so big that I've got three fingers in mine. Now, you want to hold your thumb on the top. You don't want to cut like this. Parents, if you see your kids cutting upside down, tell them and show them the correct way because this is wrong and it can hurt the wrist and the, the correct way is to have the thumb on top. And you open, shut them, open, shut them, open, shut them. And that's what we do in the classroom when we're using scissors. Because some, some friends just don't have the skills yet to open shut them. See, my, my scissors are too big. So instead of just telling them to cut, we say, open shut them, open shut them, open sh And that's giving them the skills that they need to use the scissors. Now the other way, you can do the same thing. You can, I'm going to draw, I'm just going to draw a squiggly line and maybe a circle. Um, I'm going to draw a purple flower. So, this one, we drew a little man, a little person. This one, I'm just drawing whatever you want. Okay, you could draw a triangle. You could draw a rectangle, a square. So you draw whatever you want. And then parents, instead of drawing the lines for them to cut on, just let them cut. They can go all the way down. They can go make little cuts. Again, if they're having problems, tell them, oh, Open, shut them, open, shut them, open, shut them. And that will get the skills going, okay? So that's just something a little fun to get your scissor skills going. So I, that's all I have. I hope you have fun and be careful. And please remember, boys and girls, you only cut paper. You don't cut nobody's hair. You don't cut the furniture. You don't cut your clothing. Only paper. We don't cut books. We cut just regular paper. Or you can use toilet paper or um, paper towel rolls. Okay? Alright. Well, until I see you all tomorrow, I will let you go.
you all have a great evening and maybe you all can get outside and do a little you know play and have a little bit of fun out there before it starts raining and until i see you tomorrow oh forgot to tell you about washing our hands we wash the tops we wash the bottom and how do we do it water soap rub them and then water you take your towel or your paper towel and turn it off you don't use your clean hands because then you're just getting them dirty so you're going to turn the water on you're going to get them wet you're going to put your soap on rub the bottles the tops in between your fingers say your abc's and then you're going to rinse them off with water then you're going to take your towel dry it and then take your towel and turn the water off okay if you cough <laughs> cough in your arms if you sneeze achoo, sneeze in your shirt and that makes it safe for anybody around you so they don't get your cootie bugs we don't want no cootie bugs especially with the cootie bugs going around now and then parents as i tell you every day if you need to go out please be safe stay your six feet apart and wear your mask. Okay? Till I see you tomorrow. You all have a great night. I love you. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.